Uh, fourth round here, the WWE draft, the Street Profits. The Viking Raiders, Balor, Ricochet, all drafted. The Profits are back on Raw. Viking Raiders are on SmackDown for the first time. I called that one. Finn Balor back on Raw. Not sure how to feel about that one, although he is on the same show as AJ Styles. That's cool, but Balor on... It feels like the only... Balor was back on SmackDown for two months. He was only on SmackDown to do the job to Roman and then go to Raw. That is hilarious. And also kill the demon in the process. And Ricochet on SmackDown for the first time, which is cool. Um, yeah, the Profits being back on Raw, I guess. I mean, it's better than splitting up, but... I mean, they can go after the Raw Tag Team titles, I guess, so whatever. The Raiders on SmackDown made sense. Balor, I'm skeptical of. And Ricochet being on SmackDown, I'm a big fan of because he's been on Raw the entire time. And he was going nowhere fast on Monday night, so... Uh, I got mixed feelings on a, a lot of these draft picks in round four here. Yeah, it was a mixed bag here. I mean, Finn going back to Raw, like, it's nice. I heard, like, there were reports that, like, they really want to push Finn. But, I mean, if he's doing, like, the heartbeat shit with the lights going off, no thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm going on no more demon stuff after that. But uh, I think, I mean, the Prophets going to Raw, like, made sense because Bianca. But, like I said, the tag team division is awful. Viking Raiders going to SmackDown need to happen. They face every team on Raw. Uh, Ricochet going to SmackDown, I liked it. Like I think if he's ever going to have a right push, it's that's the time. And I feel like he's just a just if he's he's just a twenty four seven goof on Raw. So maybe they can push him, put him on SmackDown, make him more of a mid card guy. If not. Whenever his contract's up, please, for the love of God, leave and put a mask on for at least a year. We talked about that last week, but do you think it is too little too late for uh, Ricochet? Even though, I mean, listen, change of scenery is always great. I think it is a plus for him and prevents him from being on main event, which he's been on for the majority of the year. He was literally on main event. I watched it before I called you. Lost to Karrion Cross for the third time. I think Karrion winning is the right call, but Ricochet is a fucking loser. I mean, the guy couldn't even beat Ricochet, or Reggie, rather, for the 24-7 championship. Is it too little, too late for Ricochet in WWE? Like, do you see him going to SmackDown, getting a renewed push as a singles guy, maybe chasing the IC title at some point? Or do you think it's, uh, I don't know. Do you, is there a chance he gets pushed again at a meaningful level? Or is it like the writing's on the wall and, the, the you know, it's it's pretty much the point of no return for Ricochet in WWE? No, he has a chance on SmackDown when he's on dark matches in a month. Like I said, once he leaves, <laughs> under a mask for at least a year. Then he get the stench off, and then he can go on with his career. Here's the abri- a- what'd you say? Has to have the mask on for at least a year, though. If not, he's screwed. Got to go back to being Prince Puma for at least a little while. Um, One year, he's still 32, so if his contract's up soon, wear a mask for his 33 year. His 33rd <laughs> year, when he turns 34, blossom into the old ricochet. The stench will be gone. <laughs> Book you, it. You know the term that I was looking for in regards to the ricochet? Damage goods. Yeah. Is that what you would call him? If he's in dark matches, he's damaged goods. Then he has to put the mask on for a year. Is he damaged goods now, though? Not yet. I'm willing to give him a pass until you see him on dark matches on SmackDown. All right. So what? what's the time window here? You said a month, but do you give it until WrestleMania? Like, I'll what? give it to Survivor Series to make a judgment. Survi- it's in six weeks. I don't care. He has. Hey, they, <laughs> they can continually ruin him in six weeks, and then I'll say, put the mask on now. All right. All right, we'll see. Hey, listen, I don't blame you, and that's that's saying a lot coming from you because I know you like to be. I I'm, I try to be optimistic, but you're more optimistic regards in regards to some more uh, some of the more of this stuff than I am in regards to like people getting ruined and shit. And I don't know. I want to see him do well on SmackDown. I'm not confident knowing who's still writing the shows, but time will tell.